Hello, y'all. We're back, and I'm the Krypton Critics, and All-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. A terrible, terrible title. <laughs> and that's a good book. So, for y'all don't know, Frank Miller is known for writing one of the best Batman books ever written, and that was The Dark Knight Rises, which is critically acclaimed, and at some point around when I was born, he just lost his goddamn mind. And he wrote this piece of shit. <laughs> in 2000, it, around uh, 2004, 2005. I picked up this book because of the artwork. Jim Lee's artwork is pretty damn great. And lo and behold, I, w I would read the story. And how am I still alive today? I don't know. <laughs> of why this is badly written it's not just because he went insane but because it took so long to be completed this book was supposed to be monthlies this book <laughs> all these books took three years to be completed so it just seems that like the last moment he was just like quick write something I was like okay just give me an hour I'll have everything done <laughs> any of that um you know Jim Lee was trying to take the blame because how long it would take him to do the artwork no we all know it was Frank Frank was the problem here so story begins with we see Vicky Vale and clothes that should probably be wearing more of I think that's a consistent theme in the yeah movie. it, it, it the pre pretty, pretty much is so I ask you well, well, is Frank Miller a misogynist pig I would say there's like a 80% chance he is. Yeah. I don't think there's any evidence that supports that he's not. Like, is Bill Cosby, is he racist? Maybe. <laughs> is he a sexist? Maybe. Is he a rapist? Maybe. You know, <laughs> it's, it's a discussion. <laughs> um, so, this book begins with her and she finds out through Alfred, you know, uh, she was like apparently buzzed and she, she heard that she's gonna have uh, Bruce Wayne and she's like, oh, I'm so excited. But at the same time, she was like dissing Batman because he's like, why is he? Who's wh Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Wayne is- Bruce Wayne is Batman. Batman. Oh, but that's a secret. <laughs> Lord, oh baby Jesus. <laughs> I told I'm you you had sorry, the wrong I'm audience, sorry. Eric. I'm sorry. See what I had to go through, audience? Okay. Back to the story. So. So. Bruce Wayne invited her to a date, and it's, for some reason, she's like okay with them going to a circus. So they go to the circus. And they see the Flying Graysons perform. And Flying Graysons were the team of Dick Grayson, the first Robin, and his uh, mother and father. And they used to be circus performers. Mm -hmm. In the original story, you know, they were killed, you know, by d destroying the line that they were swinging on. In this, Frank Miller's like, no, that's not ridiculous enough. They had to be sniped. <laughs> they had to sniped a uh, circus. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, we don't know what to do. We just saw two circus performers be sniped. And I was like, oh. So, so Robin gets killed? No, his parents are. Oh, okay. And he's taken away by police officers. And the police officers are a little creepy and possibly, like, you know, corrupt. You know, because Frank Miller thinks that all police officers are corrupt. You know, just period. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a little heavy handed I, I would say so Big Bill is saying that you can't just like push him around and put him in your vehicle he, he's traumatized and you know Dick Grayson doesn't cry at all when his parents die he's just really silent he's in shock maybe y yeah. I have a question Yes. for a book that you hate so much you certainly remember it in a lot of detail because is it possible I that the ridiculousness is part of the concept of the book no, Frank Miller thought this was... It got under your skin, though. Frank Miller thought this was Shakespeare. <laughs> That's what he thought this was. It's Maybe not. Maybe it's all an act. That's what I think. No. I think it's all an act. 
I think it's all ploy. It's not. Trust me. You think it's just lazy writing? It, it's dumb writing. That's what it is. It's not lazy. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little bit lazy. Maybe it's up to... <laughs> so, back to the story. Um, the killer of his parents is named called Jackal Boy. <laughs> and Jackal Boy is then in turn uh, tortured by Batman by putting uh, snake poison inside his bloodstream. <laughs> Was he like the Cleopatra figure? No, no, no. That would, that would be too smart for this story. What, what you Maybe talking there's about? hidden references. <laughs> you're trying to give this book too much credit. You're trying to make it seem like it's a masterpiece. It's not. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. It just it's real objectifies camp. women. They, I mean, they have to fight in their underwear. That <laughs> seems like yeah, well, it's it, bad logic. Right. And nobody even wears fishnets anymore, so it's clearly snagged on everything. So, oh, I'm sorry. We we gotta make sure we can finish this. (laughs) I mean, we have a lot of hangups with this book, but I think our hangups are very different than yours. Yeah. So, uh, Eric. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) So. You have pretty much like an all-female. So, the story gets dumber. Okay. Because he's being held by police, and Batman decides, oh, I'm going to kill police officers. So he goes with his Batmobile and starts running them over and destroying all the vehicles. And it, it is so destructive that it puts Vicky Vale's life in peril, and Alfred needs to try to save her by ripping off his shirt, and now he apparently has abs, <laughs> and <laughs> cover her wounds, and she needs to be taken to the hospital. Well, if she had some clothes on to start with, then yeah. maybe, maybe she wouldn't, have, she wouldn't have been so injured. No, she needed armor, apparently. Just pants? Yes. Yeah. I think pants, pants would help. Would well, she, 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 had, she had cuts on her arm, so pants wouldn't do much for your arms with it. I don't know what her outfit looked like, but I always felt like if women wore sports bras in comic books, maybe. Like, I feel like it will make the job a lot easier. Mm-hmm. No yeah. woman could do these jobs without sports bras well, I mean, on. Yeah. I can barely oh, jog up steps. Some tennis shoes, you know? Like... Yeah, yeah, I can barely jog up steps. So. Not so. Or, you know, metal everything. Why does everything have to be tight and metal? Those are yeah. two things that shouldn't go together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not very breathable. It doesn't wick. Just, just trust me. Like yeah. leather you tight. Need to hear yeah. more yeah. Yeah. They, would, they would just die of a yeast infection. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, Batman's killing his cops, <laughs> and he's laughing. That's funny, because it's true. He's laughing. As, yeah. I thought Batman didn't kill people. Well, he does, be, he does in this. He does in this continuity. Uh, continuity. A vigilante on the side of good continuity. If truth <laughs> I don't and know, justice and stuff. So he's he just had a psychotic break then. No, apparently he's always been like this, and it kind of explores that how insane he is. It's just everyone around him that doesn't understand him. He doesn't understand his means of just murdering possibly innocent people. Does Robin do the same thing? Or is he the good he, boy? He, he, he just, he, he, he's good for a little bit, but then he starts going crazy because he starts following this arsehole. So. All right, so he's corrupted yes. by the evil Batman, who was once good, mm, and then now has no. turned so is it, bad. Is this like a dream sequence? or is that No, this, that again? no this, there's no dreams. So is this the most recent version of Batman, or is this just... No, 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 no. This came so out in the So how does Batman then recover... Preposterous. ...his reputation to go on to still be a... I thought he was no, an anti-hero. Some weird no, like that. Some they vigilance. decide that, you know, I'm just going to write him like this because, you know, who cares about readers? <laughs> so. Let's write him a letter and tell him that your feelings are hurt and you want Batman to be a good guy again. Well, and we're tired of this misogynist BS. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he's, he's going to release a book. And why does Vicky Vale's mouth have to taste like cigars? And sandpaper. And so- and it's, so <laughs> it's funny you say that because he's gonna be releasing a he's gonna be releasing a new Batman book in this continuity this this month, I believe. Robin has really nice legs. Right, so we can we can look at that and then figure out which is better. You can compare. Yes, we can because if it's not so bad that you won't bring yourself to read it. I would really like to make a pie chart or like kind of a line graph where we could see um, the amount of clothing that the women are wearing. <laughs> I, would, I would like you to just count all the balance. articles of clothing yeah. and yeah, the percentage where they're, of how much they're, they're all either 
um, completely pretty much naked or they're in a state of undress. Like, there's really not a, a woman that's just wearing clothing and just doing that. I think there is one. Yeah. We need to have a hero in a beanie and a wool coat. Yeah, just this. <laughs> I, I need to. Right here. This outfit. <laughs> the true heroes. So. Oh, this is what fighting I the cold. <laughs> this story gets dumber because the whole time as he's killing people, he's laughing. He's like, isn't this great? And. I was like, no. And to, to, to kidnap Robin and put him in his Batmobile, he drugs him. <laughs> he drugs his little kid and puts him in his Batmobile, just throws him in there. Uh, a bit creepy, I would say. <laughs> I think that we can agree that this book was unsuccessful. No, it it, it, it sold pretty well Not for the first sold, issue. Because people Batman. will buy anything. But we can agree collectively <laughs> the content. Oh, no. It, it was, it, it's not It's not good. But you, still, Mr. L. Martin's trying to give this book too much credit. It gets dumber, okay? You just need to hear, and I'm trying to make this shorter. Okay. But you got me stuttering. <laughs> Do you think Robin gets cold? Uh, I would assume so. He's always wearing Maybe he shorts. should wear foot fishnets. Maybe that'll keep him warmer. Um, anyway, so. Oh, yeah, that'll do so much good. They go to the Batmobile. Because she is, she's going to do that. Uh, oh, shit. And they leave off to go to the Batcave. And Jim Lee is being... Because I don't like this kid. I don't like him one bit. There's a lot of man-child children. Man-children, you and DeJore. Just run around the world. So... You don't have to be superheroes. You can just there. So... On his channel. Dick, Gr Dick Grayson says, I'm hungry. Run out of the Batcave. Okay. And Pepper's like, ooh, he's in his cell. He just like goes away in the darkness. <laughs> and some rats show up. He's like, "You want some me to eat rats? the rats?" And he's like, and, "And you don't see him anymore." And Alfred gives Dick Grayson some real people food and gives it to Dick Grayson. And Batman's like, "Why'd you give him real food? I I had to eat rats when my parents died." <laughs> and like, Batman, what the hell is wrong with you? The man child. You ate rats. <laughs> you ate. Rats after your parents died? That's not a good way to cope with um, the orphanage. <laughs> you know, being an orphan, it, it doesn't it doesn't add up. <laughs> yeah. So, you're like, well, what can happen next, right? It's a new day. I got a new shirt. This book, once again, terrible. I'm going to read you one of the worst lines ever written. Robin looks upset why he's in the Batmobile after he's been kidnapped. And Batman says, What are you, dense? Are you retarded? Or something? Who do you hell do you think I am? I'm the goddamn Batman. Wow. They're being camped on purpose. Look up the word camp. I know what camp is. I've seen, you. I've seen the 1960s Adam West Batman. It's camp. <laughs> It's camp. It's on purpose. Really I'm telling you, all retarded? that bad writing is on purpose. Yes. Oh my Wait, gosh. was this written? This is written, uh, okay, this collective volume was put together in 2008. Way, way too and hard. And it was, it was written in 2005. Yeah. 2004. No. So, yeah. It, it, was, it wasn't good to say this, period, What's but. What's his name, Frank? Frank Miller. You know, oh gives him food, and Batman it. yells at him for not eating rats like he did. Uh, Batman <laughs> tells Superman, you gotta get the surgeon for Vicky Vale, otherwise I'm gonna tell everyone that you're Clark Kent. <laughs> he threatens Batman him. Batman like a very nice person. No, Ooh. so Superman runs, runs across water because apparently he doesn't know that he can fly but Batman does. I don't know how that works. Um, and he gets a surgeon to try to help Big Vale. I thought he couldn't fly. I thought he just used Mickey that Vale grapple. just needs to put some clothes on. I said Superman. I just want to also draw attention to the fact that this book is written by a man. It was not written by a woman. So it's not that Wonder Woman is actually saying these things. She's just been given these words by the male reader. So... Well, her character in this alternate universe does. Okay, but there's still a... a it's written writer. in the pages. <laughs> Therefore, that character said it. Right, but those words... Frank Wonder Miller Woman just... is not a real person. 
So yeah. it's not like it, this actually happened. It was written by the male writer. Well, right. did Bane really break Batman's back, or is that just a hypothetical universe if there is a multi, uh, you know, uh, infinite Earth uh, setting? Well, technically, uh, according to the, quantum the, physics, there are multiple universes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, how do we say One this woman is, is both alive and dead? At exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's Schrodinger's cat. Because I'm pretty sure she's in that box with that cat. With the poison. <laughs> So, <laughs> one woman, you know, she, yeah, you paint that. she, children. In this book. yeah, he's terrible. He, he, he is the least, uh, you know, least relatable character in this entire book, and it has his name on the cover. Yeah. It's, it's really Robin's sad. Robin's name is bigger, so is that significant? Um, yes, because Frank Miller wanted to write the origin story of Robin, but he wasn't going to use visual continuity or any continuity that we've seen, because his continuity is Earth-4. Okay. He's the only Ooh, one that works on Earth-4. continuity. Yes. I got it. I know what that word means. He's using Batman as a foil to Robin to make Robin seem better. Um, Robin... Is still just a follower. He, he is still just a sheep. <laughs> so, the, the Just League members, but they're not the Just League yet, are together, and that's made up of Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and Plastic Man. I, you, um, you ever had those stretchy little? The, I had a stretchy. Stretch Armstrong. Version. Fantastic yeah, Four. Stretch, the Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. I remember everybody had those, and everybody's little brother had one, and we would always play with it. So you, you're it. asking, do you have to... Until we'd rip the armpit, and then all the beads would fall out. So, so are you asking, does every 10 years, when you have Plastic Man, do you have to cover him in lubricant so he doesn't snap? I'm not even bringing that into the equation, Eric. Those are your words, not mine. I'm just asking <laughs> hypothetical. So... No. In old-fashioned 1950s, the meaning of women, she keeps complaining about how you know they should be able to kill him. Superman says no, that's not what we do. He hits a pillar, uh, uh, like underground, and some, uh -huh. and knocks it over. And she's like, "I don't like you," and she insists on kissing him because she can't just have any man. She needs a Superman. Of yes, he is a superman. I would like a superwoman hero that doesn't need a man. Doesn't need anyone. Like and Queen also Elsa hate men. from Finally. Frozen. I, I she can, just exists. I can name awesome. one. I can name a female character that Please. has never been in a relationship with a man, uh, or you know, n n not at least feels like they need to be, um, and. And also, always wears clothing. Always wears clothing. I can name one. I can okay. name one. That's Who? all. Uh, Kamala Khan. Okay, I need to know more Ka about Kamala her. Khan is the current uh, Ms. Marvel, and she is an American like, she, girl that's, uh, I believe she's Pakistani, and she's really obsessed with the superhero world, and she's a nerd, and she develops powers from the Terrigen Mist. But I see her in North There, because that's a completely different continuity that uh, Marvel's trying to push right now. Continuity. Yes, continuity. The word of the day. What is, does continuity the word you mean, Eric? Continuity is what the story is set for a universe. Whatever is set in stone for what are the rules, what goes on, what happened. You sound like a walking, talking DC encyclopedia and Marvel. I really want this sleeping bag, guys. Come look at this. It's so, oh yeah, I've seen that. I really want okay, that. we are then introduced oh, into like the woman it's that we've been talking about several times. The woman in fishnets, oh. Black Canary. Umbrella. Black Canary uh, is, you know, often a partner, uh, you know, relationship partner to uh, Green Arrow, but we don't see Green Arrow at all. This guy that kind of looks like him, but that's not him. Um, they just shove him in the book. I I'm not really sure why. Um, this piece of artwork right here. But she runs a bar named Black Canary. I'm like, um, gr great creativity there, guys. Really. Black Canary? What? No, she said something. I thought she black asked if Black Canary was black. I know who Black no, Canary is. Yeah, Black Canary is white. I said our Black Canary is real. I thought Canaries were yellow. Hey, uh, I don't think so. I, I, I'm, I don't know that much about bird colors. <laughs> I just don't know. I always thought Canaries were yellow. 
So she is. She she keeps she's kind of like um. Barb Wire from uh, Doesn't she die? The, the, the movie Barb Wire with Pamela Anderson, where you know yeah. if you call her one uh, mildly sexist term, she'll decide that she's gonna whoop your ass. But all other words are fine. <laughs> like I, th I think the word that she doesn't want to be called a sweet chunk, something like that. Sweet chunks. I don't think anybody wants to be called. Sweet so I don't I, think I, any woman likes being called anything outside their name. Yeah. Like sweetheart, did, 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 baby. No. That's the only you turn that just will like, just. No, mm -hmm. you want to say something? Shisa. Right. Hey y'all, it's Krypton Critics, and I'm here with this brother, and uh, we are here to talk about this book again, the goddamn book again. I don't think we have to say any more about it. I think we've said everything. We no, say. we haven't. You haven't heard everything, Miss Cyrus. I don't know how long this podcast has to be. It's not a podcast. The podcast is only sound. So I was like, only getting sound for me. If so it has to work, God damn it, it is, is a so, goddamn broadcast. Oh, Kristen, Kristen. Yeah, okay. Now, what, what, what you weren't here for is that um, so Batman, you, you know, he is insane, and he meets up with Black Canary, who has a bar named Black Canary, and every time she's called random people at a bar that don't really do anything bad other than drink, <laughs> I guess. It's just, it's just overkill, and... Possibly killing some of them and breaking their teeth and crap like that. Yeah. It's just unnecessary. You even saw this one page and where I've been going barefooted and he just kicks somebody in the mouth. And they just hop on top of a building, the two of them, and they start banging. And as Batman says, I keep the mask on. I like to have the mask. What the fuck? <laughs> That sounds gay. It's not gay. It's just really weird. Weird, gay, realistic comic book shit. Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't tell you about when Batman tried to make um, Robin eat rats. Eat rats? Yes. What the and as Batman puts it, he's, Alfred, why don't you give him real food? I eat rats. Well, my parents died. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, oh, it, 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 uh, Dick Grayson's parents, you know, he was a circus performer. They're, they're sniped in this book. Well, he should probably call himself Rat Man then. For all I care, since he eats rats and stuff. Rat Man. <laughs> that wouldn't be it's good sense. for the body. So, okay. They also write women bad. You know, he was around for this, so I'm, I'm explaining it again. You know, if you, if you wanted to skip this, you know, piss off, but... <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. How sex is. It's not. This book is. You know why? No, well, why? Why? Partly because uh, we're introduced to Vicky Vale, right? Mm hmm And she finds out she's going to have a date with Bruce Wayne. And she's all excited, but she says that she hates Batman to death. And he's just a, a, a it's rat. It's the same person. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. Oh. As a matter of fact, Miss Sarge didn't know that. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would have to tell an adult that in my life. I thought it was like knowing that, so you know, most, know. Most, most of the Earth's surface is water. I thought it was that, that you know, just general knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, what we had, like five films? <laughs> or we know this? <laughs> oh. Yeah, of course, we got a jar and lingerie <laughs> for like four panels, no, f five pages and shit. And we just had to have a close-up of her ass in just one panel. A porno comic. It's not, it's not a porno comic. I've seen porno comics. This is not one. Mm, oh. <laughs> Life links, then? What? Life links. Uh, I don't know what the kids are talking about these days. <laughs> so, Mickeyville goes on a date with um, Bruce Wayne, and she's like, okay, I guess we're going to the circus. Because that's where you go on the first date, right? You go on a circus. And you watch a little boy play around. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, th that's where they're sniped. And she uh, is, like, roughing up by a police officer that's clearly cr crooked. And, you know, police officers are just taking Dick Grayson and they're doing something not sexual. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It just seems like they're just harassing him. 
and Batman's like, enough of that. <laughs> it just, I, I'm like, I'll show you. Like, <laughs> and look how he, you know, enjoy, and then he's getting from this. Yeah. Uh, he's probably getting off on this. <laughs> probably getting off on killing police officers. What's my, what's up, like, these are police officers. The, I know, I know. These right? aren't, you know, aliens from another planet that are dressed up as police officers. These are police officers, period. Dumbass police officers who need to go back to uh, um, <laughs> academy school for police officers only because they're not doing a very good job. Catching you see them. how I talk about this book, right? Yeah. I see, I, I told them already, but I got this book um, back in 2008. Because what do I know? I was just like, the artwork's great. I'm going to get this. The artwork's great, but the and story sucks. how did I survive today? I don't know. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of things. But this! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we also get a really big, big... Okay, pause there. Um, drawing of the Batcave. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> This is what Jim Lee, you know, is, is being forced to do for Frank Miller. Jesus Christ. Wow, Jim. Uh, Jim Ooh. Lee well, got his... Wow, Jim Lee must have got his work cut out for Frank Oh, yeah. Miller. So, th th this series was supposed to be monthly, okay? Took three years to release every book. Did they even make a TV show at that? No. It just be more so seated. each issue yeah, was supposed to come out every once a month. It took three years for everything to come out. So low ratings. No, that's not why. Frank Miller is just like, oh, I forgot to do it. Just give me an hour. <laughs> He's like, done. <laughs> okay, I think this guy done. should be right. Yeah, you know, I don't have to get into. Anymore. I don't have to really worry about dialogue or character development or common sense. <laughs> Oh, great, but the story is just weird. Um, so this is actually a sequel to um, Batman Year One. You ever read, read that or uh, seen the cartoon? Uh, Came out, like, I think four years ago. Batman what? Brave and the Bold? No. <laughs> no, the cartoon movie. Oh, no. No, not Brave and the Bold. Brave and Bold is very different. Uh, but I Batman, Batman Brave Year One, it, 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 like reinvigorates, you know, his origin without making it seem tacky, and it was well written, and uh, in that book Gordon cheats on his wife. And in this book she is still married to him, but he, she is like really sad and terrible looking alcoholic, and um, Should be I. We meet uh, his daughter who, you know, obviously becomes <coughs> You coughing there, my monologue, bro? <laughs> that girl! <laughs> That girl is his daughter, right? Mm -hmm. She feels inspired, so she's gonna become that girl. She does not never met Bruce Wayne, and just know he uh, fights so, crime. So, so it's like as I see, he's a terrorist, but you know what? So she's Batgirl, right? Mm -hmm. And, well, and look, they, they put artwork from his his good books. Wait, she <laughs> met Batman, but she didn't meet. No, Bruce she, Wayne. she 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 never met either of them in this book. Oh, so she only the only connection. She has is being a fan girl. Because he's back girl and she's being. A because fan it's girl. A, this is an alternate universe. Oh. Because Frank Miller has been building his alternate universe since the '80s, and um, he decided he wants to make prequels and sequels in between that each one becomes worse. <laughs> so Batman is just showing his weird self in a different universe. And it, it, no, this is the same universe as the good ones he did. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. We're supposed to believe that this happened in the same thing, but it's just like hiccups on the way. <laughs> <laughs> hiccups on the road. See? Just as a bad girl. Right there. Da, 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 da. And she's the only one that, that can. Only female character that is not alcoholic and Everyone is, else is, is clothed like woman because she's underage. <laughs> How old is she? 15. Um, 
So Vicki Vale, she has to be put in the hospital for all the destruction Batman caused with his Batmobile. And she's in the hospital. And uh, Bruce Wayne, Batman, you know, whatever, he gets Superman to get a surgeon for her. And the Justice League has not been established yet. So they're just heroes just pissing around. <laughs> so he's like, you better get you know, this girl a surgeon or I'm going to tell everyone you're Clark Kent. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, he's like, you, you better get a surgeon, or I'm going to tell everyone you're Clark Kent. And he starts running across the ocean to get the surgeon, because he does not know he can fly, but Batman does. I don't know how that works. It's not established. It's never talked about. It's just saying that Batman knows he can fly, but she, he doesn't. Fly with what? Huh? Fly with what, exactly? Batman flies. Uh, Superman flies, right? Oh, yeah, I thought you were Yeah, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he I, flies. Yeah, I thought you meant Batman for a moment there. Like he can't fly unless <laughs> he has wings that make him fly. Big ass wings for a cape. Um, so they. Oh, look, they burn some people. <laughs> Black Canary and Batman just burn some people. Feel the burn. They're once again. They're just dear general low life alcoholics, and they decide. Oh, we need to just uh, burn you. This has to be one of the worst Batman comics I ever had to hear about. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you didn't believe me? I learned about okay. this book for nearly, like, for 20 minutes, and yet it is the worst. So, Joker in this book never laughs or smiles in this book. And... Um, when we first introduced so no him, tricks or anything. he has a dragon tattoo, and he like bangs this lo loyal girl, and just chokes her with a tie. And honey, I'm home from work. Oh, and we also see Bruno, who this character right here was uh, first introduced. Yeah, she has swastika on her nipples. N now she was previously established back in the eighties, uh, back in. The, the really good ba uh, Batman book done by Frank Miller. She was in there and she fought uh, Batman, but she was significantly older. She, she dressed the same way, too. Even as a 65-year-old woman, she dressed the same way. She was like, I don't care. I'm still going to have nazi nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Batman at first doesn't like Robin, but... He, he, he likes his strength. <laughs> and he, he doesn't like Robin that much because he says he doesn't like the Batmobile or Batcave. All right, we're back. How you been doing? Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I said Wonder Woman is written terribly. Okay, I didn't, I didn't go into the details. Wonder Woman in this book, she hates men. And she says she hates men all the time. As a matter of fact, she calls some innocent fat man a sperm bank <laughs> and <laughs> and well, the, the Just League members before they're Just League um, are together that's Green Lantern Wonder Woman Batman and Plastic Man why Plastic Man? because he was used in a previous book Frank Miller wrote about Batman because he was like I just want to shoe shoe shoehorn him in the story so, this, this so Wonder Woman's like oh we should just kill Batman and Superman's like, that's not what we do. He's like, you don't tell me what to do. You're a man. And she, she, she ends up kissing him. <laughs> Which is really uh, sexist and uncomfortable to talk about. What the fuck? Am I who who are you about to ask? Thing? What the fuck? I was about to ask. You didn't think it could get any worse, did you? Yeah. It's, it's, I'm not shocked about it at all. I'm just like... The fuck? <laughs> the fuck am I reading or listening to? <laughs> One of the worst Batman books I have ever had the privilege to hear. Yeah. So, Joker um, decides he wants to team up with Catwoman. And you're like, okay, why not? I mean, she can't be that bad, right? So, well, between that issue too. and the next one, it was a year. Frank Miller forgot what he wrote. So, 
Next issue, we see Catwoman is dead and bleeding on the f- on the ground of, of the city and has a note in blood. And you're like, what happened? It's just like it's totally unexplained. He thought she had died last issue. He forgot. What the fuck? Why do you put a shit ant in the same time, though? So, uh, Green Lantern's like, maybe we should just talk to him. You know, maybe he, maybe you can calm him down. Maybe give him off his high horse, and maybe he'll just calm down, my loud, and stop, you know, kidnapping children. And we're like, oh, screw you. You what you know? You don't know anything, because Frank Miller doesn't like Green Lantern that much. He thinks he's dumb. So next time when we see him, let's see if I can. I think s- everybody in this book is dumb. <coughs> so when we first see him, he's like eating hot dogs to show that he's not taking things anything seriously. And look how cool Batman looks. He's just covered in shadows and coming right through all his Green Lantern bullshit. <laughs> is he is he in the juxtaposition here? Pretty much. Yeah. So Batman's like, well, you gotta meet me over at this uh, facilitated building that has nothing to do with Bruce Wayne, right? <laughs> That's basically what he's saying. It has nothing to do with Bruce Wayne, right? And he's thinking to himself, it's like, why does an idiot have to have that ring? If I had that ring, oh, what would I do? I was like, if there's some problems, I would like to fix the Middle East with that. What the fuck? Is this Lord of the Rings or something? Well, no. It, it, Frank Miller, there's two things he's accused of being. There's a reason point over the uh, your drawing, you see? With the fedora, that's him. And Jim Lee's right next to him. <laughs> I'm seriously, that's what you look like. I never even noticed that. I didn't even read it, like, just till now. So, Frank Miller, you know, he's accused of being a uh, sexist pig. Yeah, I didn't And he's that. accused of being anti-Islamic. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you can kind of get that from this. And when I was mentioning, you know, his uncomfortable uh, talking about 9-11 in a Batman book. <laughs> As a matter of fact, like, five funny. years after this, actually six, five or he, six. Um, he made a book called Holy Terror. Holy Terror. Oh and he makes Holy. a character that is pretty much just Batman without little ears. Holy shit. And he, that character goes to fight Al-Qaeda with a, a a female character that is pretty much just Catwoman, but doesn't have cat ears on her head. And <laughs> guess what her name is? What's her name? Lisa Stacked. Lisa Stacked. You know what it means to be stacked, right? It means when one's like thick, sexy. Well, so know. he just named the character Lisa Stacked. <laughs> That's not even technically a Batman book, but it's a Batman book. He went to DC editorial. He's like, I want to do a book. One of the worst. I want a book where Batman fights Al Qaeda. They're like, no. <laughs> well, one of the worst free Miller books. Miller books I had to hear about. I thought he was better than that, but now he's. He used to be better than this, but he just lost his mind. Was this after or before the real Batman? We mean real Batman. I mean like the very like when the comic was good and stuff, and everybody wanted. To read okay, it. people. Um, people stopped liking him in the 90s. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, one of the last stories people hi- put in high regard <coughs> is um, his run on Daredevil. Oh. Um, like, he's the reason why we have Daredevil uh, in the black outfit in the TV show. Because he, he came up with that. A lot, of the, a lot of the similarities in the story are ripped from the storytelling he made back in the early 90s for that character. So, he just went really south, really quick. <laughs> so, he didn't really do anything. Damn it, he won't read. Okay. So, we're almost done, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to s- stop by lecturing about, the, about this goddamn book. Yes, because... <laughs> goddamn book! Yes, because you have completely lost me. Mine, mine right, too. <laughs> so, you see all this yellow? Yeah. Wh- why do you think that yellow is there? Yes. Remember he uh, said Green Lantern should come to his little place and they're using the pre-retconned weakness of Green Lantern that Frank Miller still thinks is the weakness 
a Green Lantern, which is the color yellow. What? Yellow paint? The fuck? So yeah, he paints his weakness is fucking every <laughs> centimeter an inch of an entire room and himself, and he's trying to feed him yellow food, like lemonade. <laughs> what else is he? Want some lemonade? <laughs> he had no powers against me, and Green Lantern just like com- complaining. It's like, are you serious? You, you goddamn jackass. He's like, you did all this just to be in spite of me, just so I can't whoop your ass. Jackass. He's like, yeah, I did it. He's like, you want to punch me? He's not going to hurt that much. He's like, look at this guy. Okay. So we're almost done, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to s- stop by lecturing you about, the, about this goddamn book. Yes, because. <laughs> goddamn book! Yes, because you have completely lost me. Mine, mine right too. <laughs> so you see all this yellow? Yeah. Why do you think that yellow is there? Yes. Remember he uh, said Green Lantern should come to his little place and they're using the pre-retconned weakness of Green Lantern that Frank Miller still thinks is the weakness of Green Lantern, which is the color yellow. What? Yellow paint? The fuck? So yeah, he paints his weakness is fucking every centimeter an inch of an entire room and himself, and he's trying to feed him yellow food, like lemonade. What <laughs> else is he? Want some lemonade? <laughs> he had no powers against me, and Green Lantern just like com- complaining. It's like, are you serious? Uh, you, you goddamn jackass. He's like, you did all this just to be in spite of me, just so I can't whoop your ass. Jackass. He's like, yeah, I did it. He's like, you want to punch me? He's not gonna hurt that much. He's like, look at this guy. He punches me, I'm Batman. What, what's he gonna do? <laughs> and he's like, wait, is that. I can actually picture that happening. He's like, is that. Is that. Dick Grayson? He's like, what do you mean? This is. This is just some intern. This is like some lemonade. He's like, this is just some intern, okay? You know? He, he, this, With this, the this kid is not the same kid that was kidnapped. That, that wasn't me. And Green Lantern's like, are you sure? He's like, he shows him a video where. In an interview, Dick Grayson says, I was not kidnapped by Batman. And Green Lantern's like, okay. <laughs> Green Lantern's dumb. I know. Dick Grayson is torturing. It, 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 we're, we're almost there, okay, man? Um, Green Lantern, like, throws uh, Dick Grayson. He gets pissed off, and Dick Grayson... Uh, Stomps on Green Lantern's uh, neck chest area and breaks it, breaks his trachea. Uh. And Batman takes off his mask and he saves his life. Yeah. <laughs> and they go in the rain and the yellow is washed off. I got to take a shower. And really, th- this th- this paint should like have some. Health effects with that much paint, you know, breathing in those chemicals. But yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> don't question it, because I, I mean, trust me, I'm not going to ask you about it. Oh, and th- this book is almost done. We're almost there. L- look how thin this is. So, okay, we meet up with um, Commissioner Gordon. He's still upset, and he keeps calling the girl he cheated on. And Barbara Gordon says, why don't you just be with her? You're going to be happier with her anyway. I'm completely dismissing her mom. <laughs> it's like, screw that bitch. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like she gave me life or, you know, supported me, you know, in school and, you know, emotional trauma. He's like, you leave that woman, you get with this hotter chick, <laughs> and you just move on, Dad. Um... She is, like, put in prison for doing, like, misdemeanor acts, and she, she calls her dad, and, you know, he, he said flipping out. He's like, oh, wait, she gets one call? <laughs> um, his wife also dies, because he ends up drinking and driving, and just crashes into something. I'm, I'm not really sure what. Is and... It is good enough. Okay. Forget that. Jedi mind trick. <laughs> um, 
when we cut back to Batman and Robin, and Robin, he's going crazy now, like Batman is. Well, he just crushed a man's trachea. He he's becoming Batman now, and Batman insists that you must mourn over your dead parents. He takes him to the gravesite, and he's like, "You must cry," and they both cry together, and they become slightly less crazy, I guess. I mean, I guess there's hope for Robin because he did eat rats. <laughs> And the book ends completely with um, Commissioner Gordon asking um, the girl he cheated on, uh, how was your day? And we, f we, we, we find out why Batman and Robin like, left the facility where they crushed <laughs> Green Lantern's trachea. Uh, they went to um, Batman's proto-Batcave. Okay? And... Catwoman wrote out in blood uh, the first time on a note, and he read that, and he's like, oh, that's, a, that's the first place we banged. Oh, wow. And he, he describes it in, like, length of how awesome it was <laughs> to bang Catwoman. I wouldn't think so. He's like, it was nice and sweaty, and <laughs> just like, come on, Batman, really? Just, just keep, I mean, I can't, just shut up. <laughs> just Yes. Close your mouth. Yes, just and end the story already. Shut up. Um. Yeah. The, 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 we also see some good, cool shots of them like swinging around, and because Frank Miller knows that this is gonna be the last book, and he wants to make it look like it's Kramer, like it was. It, it, it took was a lot of thought. <laughs> well, a thought worth it. No. And like you showed some old artwork from the original Batman series. Da -da -da -da. So, what do you think? <laughs> that was the story. That's how it ends. Uh, Boy. <laughs> Boy! Fuck this book. <laughs> Worst story of Batman, Robin, or maybe it's even them. I don't even know what to say. It's like, just because there's alternate universes and anything can happen, if doesn't mean this everything is should if this, if be this is, seen by your audience. If this is really... If this, if this is really the last book of Frank Miller's... Oh, no, it's not. Miller's. Frank Miller is making a Batman book that's coming out this... like I think this month or next month. And that's going to be shitty, too. And Trust guess me. what? It's going to be a sequel to uh, The Dark Knight Strikes Again. It's going to be The Dark Knight 3. <laughs> Sounds shitty. And if that's not bad enough, it just shows how crazy he's gotten. It's the 30th anniversary of th that good book he made. I don't give a fuck. Because he made it back in uh, either it was uh, <laughs> 1986 or 1985. It's going to be the 30th anniversary. Not the 80 and the 90 comic books were really great. But this right here is one of the most shittiest books I've ever seen. Oh, and that Spawn and book I was talking about earlier, which people were like, well, if he, it was Spawn vs. Batman. That was during the height of Spawn. That's also when Spawn movie came out. Mm. 97. That's something I can claim came out the same year I was born. Yeah, it, that's the same year I was born, too. Yeah, uh, I didn't know anything see, about that, any of that. Try this at home. The scene that makes you feel really old, find out what movies came out the year you were born. You, you know what else movies came out in 1997? Now that I know you're the same age? Uh, you said 97, right? Yeah. Oh, um, much Good Burger came out? I probably watched like 80 movies, like Rocky. You, 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 like you heard Rocky. that? What? Good Burger? Good Burger. You know, Good Burger. Good Burger. No. Okay. Um, Steel with Shaq. Okay, I know you heard of Batman and Robin, uh, the Schumacher film that probably. is really terrible and has Batman nipples. I probably do, but I don't remember. I watch eighty movies and God goes out again. Damn it, baby, Jesus! We're still talking here. See, I had to do that two K punch thing. So, 
Any, any closing thoughts? Uh, you know, because the video is almost going to be terminated. I already said all my thoughts. As a matter of fact, this is my first comic book recorded review. So, people, thumbs up if you want to see this more. Give me suggestions of what stories you want to do. Now, not all of them I can buy. I can find, you know, buy in like trays or any, whatever. I can get from friends. Um, I can watch on YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> I can watch, I can watch some issues. Give yourself a middle finger if this is the shittiest book ever. <laughs> <coughs> Please just give a middle finger. Piss off, fuck off. I don't give a fuck. Just, just, just say what's on your mind, honestly. Like, come on. For what I had to go through and the way I talked about comics, I, I feel like I deserve to be on the wiki, weekly poll uh, with Comic Historian, uh, Comics Explained. Uh, it's super effective. I, I want to see them all. If you don't know who those are, they're all uh, comic book YouTubers. They, they, they will talk about and link comics, explain them, and give them reviews. And they point out a lot, lot of dumb things. <laughs> like... This um, is has its own continuity, and this is separate from everything that's going on right now. DC, see, I'm, I'm still talking. Uh, I'm, I'm rapping DC right now, okay? Don't spew hate comments that I hate DC. I don't. <coughs> I like Marvel more. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, you know, I, I say that because Marvel is not ashamed of continuity. DC is. I would actually like to see a movie with Marvel and DC going at it. One movie. Well, <laughs> you can watch it as a fan film. I know that, that exists. I watched it. Mm. Um, but studios aren't going to get along like that. Th that's why you can't see Wolverine and uh, Avengers. Because Fox owns movie rights to Mutants and X-Men. Oh, yeah. and, and Fantastic Four. Yeah, they should ought to get along. That's why they made the reboot this year for Fantastic Four. Because yep. they don't want to lose those rights. Even though that's one of the worst received comic book films that's ever existed. Be it's received worse than Ghost Rider. It's received worse than Daredevil. And it's re re received worse than Catwoman. The Halle Berry. Mm -hmm. Which is really bad. But you got somewhere to go? My oh boy. Oh, no. I was just checking what time it was. No. I didn't realize that we've been here for I a mean, I'll, I'll admit sometimes I'm long winded. <laughs> but that's what happens when you give me a book like this. You know, I, you know I, I'll tell you a little story. Um, when I got this book, um, me and my dad did, went to a comic book store. Now, my dad is a nerd like I am, and he, he's the biggest reason why I'm a nerd today, but he never read that many comic books. He, he was really into, like, film media. Uh, computer graphics and you know he liked Lord of the Rings and Star Wars but he, he never really got into just reading comic books like I did um, I have a lot of up and ups and downs like I'm kind of like tugging whether I want to read comics or I just want to watch movies <laughs> yes this is a nerd problem nerd <laughs> it's like I'm going to read comics and get uh, represent for more, more this like crowd a, or am I going to represent like a, for the film I'm crowd. more like a, um, a Dragon Ball Z type of guy I, I love I like Batman. See, we can have a we can have a whole another episode just like Dragon Ball Z. I don't know much about Dragon Ball Z. I do. Uh, I do know Popo, Mr. Popo looks racist. <laughs> he looks like a black Sambo. He looks like he has lip gloss. You know what Sambo is? No. Or do you know what blackface is? We well, gonna learn today. <laughs> blackface is when. Uh, a character, a, a, a actor that's not black, puts on black shoe polish or makeup on their face and paints their lips red, and yep, they that's, that's what he they is. act as what they see as a black person is. Now, um, not all blackface actually uses like the color black black. Sometimes they'll use brown, which is. Slightly less offensive, but it's still a muddy water to come from because most of it was done by white guys trying to pretend to be black guys that was doing it in the most offensive way possible. Um, there's also this thing called yellow face. <laughs> when uh, usually a white actor, you know, dress up like an Asian person, they would put duct tape on their eyelids so they, their eyes look slanted. Um, 
I, I can name some big actors that have done this. Um, um, one actor that went yellow face is uh, Mickey Rooney. Rest in, rest in peace, you know. The short <laughs> actor that lived like 93 years. And uh, a black actor that, a, a, a white guy that went blackface, um, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, Iron Man. <laughs> he went blackface for one film. Uh, you ever heard of Tropical Thunder? No. See, a lot of people will say that he's the only one that can pull off blackface. And he actually sounded like a black man, actually looked like a black man. I didn't know he was a black man. And he had, someone had to tell me that was, you know, Iron Man. I was like, oh, damn. Well, I think I rambled on for enough. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, me too. Okay. All right, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can do this next week. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> maybe, maybe we'll actually have a good book <laughs> to talk about. Yeah, because this has been one of the worst books that I have to hear for a full hour. <laughs> so, see you. There you go. Uh, the other room. <laughs> I'm going back there, too, to draw. So. Yeah, me too. Uh, thanks for having me. Yep, see you. Soon.